a setback, but it's not terminal. We can turn it around here. A serious setback. Well, listen, I've had them before. I failed the third, seventh, and ninth grades and got a PhD in economics. My interpretation also is I won eight delegates. So I'm 992 delegates away from the goal line, but I'm eight delegates closer to the goal line than Bob Dole is. Which are Following that, yesterday, we won a landslide victory over Senator Graham in his own backyard, a state some of his aides said he would sweep with all 21 of the delegates, and he would come out with all of them. We defeated Senator Graham, I think, relatively handily, and quite frankly, uh, the size of our victory and the fact of our victory surprised even us. But I think they've got a very good point. I sat down before I spoke the last time I was in Iowa, and, uh, in this little uh, lounge, and my guess is people are being turned off by it. Okay. I'll do it. Let me just get him out. I'll be right back in. Buchanan, it's too early to say that you've knocked Phil Graham out as a contender. It is too early to say anything like that. Phil Graham's got a very good organization, and I've got to cut it off here. Cut it off here. Cut it off here. What it says is that. Uh, the, they don't want Washington insiders. It is a blow to Senator Graham. As we saw in Alaska, both uh, Buchanan and I beat Senator Dole. And so what I think this shows is that the people want somebody from the outside who's not part of the Washington establishment. Not Pat Buchanan? Not Pat Buchanan. Pat Buchanan believes in a fortress America. I believe in America of, of a shining city on the hill. He's the pessimist. Uh, I'm the optimist. Let's know what kind of track shoes you've got on to run so hard and fast. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them the brand name. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you.